Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do a disassembly of the Wingman EDC MTNT Mach 3 here. I'm interested to see how this goes because it has a proprietary pivot and clip screw, but it looks pretty simple. They do provide the tool, which is cool. Um, I can't remember if I did a first impressions on this, so real quick, um, I absolutely am loving this knife. It's a small knife, so... 2.75 inch blade uh here is an emp edc nimble you can see the nimble which is a pretty small knife is bigger than it uh we have the aloni knives goat version 2 which is about a three inch blade is a little bigger than it um so it's you know not the biggest knife in the world uh it's a very good edc size knife here's a malibu uh there you go 3.3 inch blade on that and then lastly let's do the ferrum forge uh stinger here three and a quarter on that one i think so you get the idea it's a pretty small knife very pocketable uh it's a very good carry i gotta say i very much enjoyed the carry on this guy um it is very slim very very light has some speed holes but um they're not very annoying or anything. They're not big, which is, you know, what I want. I have been told these scales have been glued on. So I was going to trade somebody um, the knife so that I could get the Arctic color. But he had anodized all the hardware already. And I think he said he dropped it and chipped the scale back here a little bit. And I just got this brand new. So I kind of didn't want to swap for that. But I was like, hey, couldn't we just swap scales? And he said they're glued on, so that kind of sucks. I do kind of still want a different color, um, but I don't think I want to trade this. I think I just want to get a different color and have two of them. I really like it. It has that Riot Belt Satin, M390 steel, of course. You can see right there, M390, there's your Tom Mayo design, I guess. Uh, it says Hawaii underneath, and then Wingman EDC. You can see the proprietary hardware. The clip mounts from this side, much like the Mach 1 that I had and disassembled and reviewed. Um, I really love it, guys. It's fantastic. Left-handed, it works great because it's a sub-frame lock, so I can put my fingers anywhere. Detent is dialed for a reverse flick, thumb flick. You can do the top flip. You can do the reach-around flick. You can even do this thing that I suck at, and I'm going to cut myself so I don't want to do it. Um, I always tend to like smack myself right here with the blade as it comes out and then it cuts me. So I just don't want to do it. Um, but you could do all that stuff. It's got the pill shaped hole, got really good jimping. I really like the ergos on it. It looks sort of weird, but the way my finger lands, if I start up here is just perfect. I actually have a little extra room and I can get really good cuts going. And I do the uh, pinch grip a lot with this knife. Which, that's one of the downsides is the tip is up high. It's sort of a straight back. I guess it's a clip point or a drop point. Um, so, you know, I got to raise it up a little bit or do the flip -a rooney to use the tip like that. Um, that's probably the only downside. And that's a nitpick because that's a design thing. Uh, and the size being kind of small design thing, right? The only actual nitpick I have is lock bar access is a little bit... Um, I don't know, you get used to it, but it just doesn't have any jimping or anything down here. Just a little bit of chamfering, and you kind of just slide your finger in and hope it disengages. And it usually does, so it's not a problem, but it's not like, it doesn't uh, give you confidence. And you'll see the drop is really good, and then very smooth close. So I don't even think this needs skiff bearings, but, you know, it can't hurt, obviously. There's no pivot lash, there's no blade play. Uh, and there's no lock rock, so really solid. Uh, I will need to get the tool out to do this, and there it is. Comes with all this cool stuff. I did an unboxing, so you can see that somewhere. And it comes with this bomb, basically pivot clip. So... I'm guessing I take it apart from this side. The only thing I'm worried about is you see there's tooled on both sides here. So I kind of want it to come apart from this side because it makes sense to me. But usually Riot knives come off from the other side. And I'm worried it's going to be a sort of spinning pivot, which would suck. Because I don't have two of these tools. 
And that is exactly what's happening. So why would they do that? If I open it a little bit. I hate these proprietary tools. Like, just be nice to just be using a Torx right now. It's just spinning. Just spinning on both sides. I've created a little bit of blade play, which sucks. You obviously don't want that. So now I need two of these just to... Just to get the knife apart, which would be a nightmare to try to hold two of these together, right? Oh my god, I'm frustrated right now. Just stay in there, you shit. Huh? It kind of wants to stop right here. I think I might have got it. Yep, I got it. Okay. I absolutely hate this. Note to self. Don't ever make proprietary hardware on a knife. It is coming out, though. And there was a shit ton of Loctite in there. Why would you... That's just dumb, right? Loctiting it is just dumb, in my opinion. This one should just come out, because there's no... It's not spinning or anything, it's just holding a clip in. Just a matter of getting this stupid tool in every time. Does it look that much better with the proprietary shit? I mean, honestly, no. I'd rather just have... Why not just, just do what everybody else does and put a little Torx bit in the center of it and still have your cool design, right? Like, it wouldn't have been a big deal. You know, you could still use that design and just have a torque screw in the center of it or something. Like what uh, Brian Nadeau does. Like, you're just making everybody's life harder. And I love this knife. I'm, it's just, this kind of shit frustrates me. All right. What are we, what are we doing here? So wait, it's not glued in. Hold on. Maybe it is. What's not coming off it? He said it was glued on. That's not glued on. Not on that side, anyway. So take that back. All right, hang on. I got lots of pins here. This, I believe, is the stop pin. Put that up here. But I think they're all the same, but I think these pins go in here, and they kind of hold things together. So put that there and that there. Put it with the backspacer. Leave that in. I'm going to put skips in it, of course, just because they're just five millimeter bearings. 
this pivot is not coming out, which is interesting, but maybe it, this side is glued on. I don't know. Let me just pull this out and see. I think that's why the pivot ended up coming out because this side got stuck. See, yeah, the pivot is stuck in there, I think. I think I'm unscrewing this side of the pivot screw now, yeah. I'm just curious why this pivot is so tight in there. So there's your fat carbon. It's, I mean, it's even in there which is cool. So yeah, I think it is glued on on this side. So, I mean, we could swap, you know, you could swap the one side, but that wouldn't help. Yeah, it's glued in. Okay. So I got to clean this out. Get some air. I usually just blow some air in. <laughs> Looks pretty clean. Put a little alcohol in there. I just sprayed it right down in there. Get some on here. I mean, the knife looks pretty clean overall. A little bit of guck and such, but nothing crazy. The person I bought it off, I got this for 300. They're usually like 350, 380. Um, had just got it like a week before on Recon One, I believe. So it's pretty much a brand new knife. Interesting liners. I mean, look at this thing. Look at the finish on that. It just looks cool. And then the milling's all on this side. Like, I don't know, it just looks backwards sort of to me. Uh, I'm glad it has all that milling, and then this kind of just seats in there, which is pretty cool. At least I hope it does. I have that on the right side, right? Yeah. What's going on here? There we go. And it'll obviously seat itself back in as we put it back together. This was, okay, this was being cleaned. So let me blow that out again. Get the alcohol out of there. And clean it, obviously. Okay, that went through this side, right? Pretty sure, no, I can't remember. I always forget which side the pivot went through. Pretty sure it came off this side where the clip was, right? I got this side out and then I unscrewed this side, yeah. Seems like it's in there. All right, skips. So. Three sets still good. Now, obviously, I got to make sure it works with the skiffs. Clean them off because they have their own sort of skiff juice on them. Hey, 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 hey. I'll try to sneak away. Okay, 
get our KPL out, which now has new labels, which are not supposed to uh, wear out or anything. It even tells you the weight now, 10, 15 weight. This is the original, of course. Check out knifepivotlube.com. Use code LEFTY10 for 10% off your order. Did I get this? Seems like it's trying to soak in around the pivot for some reason, but it's on there. No, uh, stop pin. Make sure that's in. I love a stop pin that kind of goes this way, sort of internally like that. Put a little here, here. They seem to fit pretty good, which is awesome. Put a dot here and here. And I want my KPL heavy. There's the new heavy, 75 weight. Put a little right there on the detent ball. That should be good. Oops. We should be good all around. Do I want to use Loctite? I mean, they did, so I guess. But I want to make sure it works first. I'm going to guess it's going to work. So we're going to just go for it. All right, I'm missing something. I know I'm missing something. Wasn't there a little pin right here? Right? These guys went through. And into these holes. That was your lanyard pin right there. Then we had another little pin holding this guy in right here. Clip and clip screw, pivot screw. Uh oh. I'm guessing it would have went this way. Let me move my keyboard. Keep an eye out for it. <clears throat> I do not see it. Fuck. Did I lose it is the question. I thought it was in. Is that glass? I thought it was in the back spacer, so it would have just been sitting right here. I don't understand. <sighs> and I don't think I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that pin existed, right? Did I put anything magnetic down around it? All right, I think I'm going to have to pause and look because I don't think it's going to go together without that little pin, which absolutely sucks right now because, well, wait, no. That's the clip screw. Hold on. Wouldn't that be the clip screw? Right? The clip screw goes through there. Or am I crazy? I don't think there was an extra screw. Maybe I was just imagining shit. Uh-oh, what's this all about? Could be the uh, skips are too wide. Let me just, oh, there comes that pin. 
Yeah, there's only one hole in there. It's got to be for the clip. So I think we're good there. So hang on. Let me just do this then. I think this just needs to find its home. Like that. Right? Yeah, it's going through. Okay. So I think we're good. I think I just need to put the damn thing together. So... I need a tissue, I need a tissue, I need a tissue. Paper towel, god damn it. Okay. Oh, I didn't clean this, so hang on. This is gonna suck. Gotta use this stupid tool. Well, worked pretty damn well, though. Okay, so now I need to thread this up. That should be plenty. Get this bad boy in here. Just gonna hope the skiffs work pretty well. That's... That's my plan currently. Use that tool as little as damn possible because I hate it. All right, let's put the clip on. Yeah, put the clip on. So I think I need to back it out and then move the clip up a little bit. this sorry about the angles guys it's just really weird it's just these two things that hold everything together so you have to like There we go. I can feel it pulling the knife together, which is good. I think that's tight. Tighten this thing. <laughs> this is such a nightmare. Okay, we are not centered. Still not centered. There's no play or anything, but the action's definitely not better. And I think the centering is off. See that? Well, to me, it looks off to the clip side. Yeah, it's definitely off. And the action's just not good either. It's not like dropping. They might be too thick is what I'm getting at. Which sucks because I already took the clip off and everything. Let's just see what happens when I do this. I'm wondering if the 
pivot just didn't seat itself all the way. Okay, so that sucked. Well, I might have mastered the disassembly part. No, Jesus fucking Christ. Me over here thinking there's an extra pin. It's because I thought this was a pin. I'm an idiot, yeah. That's exactly what it is. All right. Calm down, people. All right. Well, it was good on the stock bearing, so it is what it is, people. Sometimes they don't work. Sometimes they just don't work. So let's clean these suckers then. I don't have any fancy ones, do I? I don't think I have any fancy stock bearings either. Where's the other one? What the fuck? Am I just losing shit left and right? Anybody see the other stock bearing anywhere? I'm guessing the Delrins won't fit. We could check real quick. These are uh, 3 16th. I'm guessing it's not going to fit. It. Oh. No way. 3 16th pivot? Oh, shit. You know I got to try that shit. Probably just going to be doing this for the shits of it too, but... I can't find that other bearing. I don't know what I do with it. That's so weird, right? There it is. <laughs> what the fuck? Was it stuck to my hand or something? See, look how tight that fit is, though. I don't know if it's going to work. They're not going to spin in there regularly. They're not going to spin in there freely, I don't think. Maybe I can test it without putting the damn thing together. Oh, maybe. But the centering was all jacked up before. That was the weird part. I think it had pretty good centering before we did this. Definitely wasn't bugging me, that's for sure. Come on. God, I hate this shit so much. That looks pretty good, but we haven't put the clip on yet.
It's so hard to make a slight adjustment. Centering just looks off. Definitely working, but it's not better or anything. So there's no point, if you know what I mean. Sorry about the light. I don't know what's going on here. So technically, 3 16th uh, Delrins would work in there, actually. <sighs> Can I just do it like this? Yes. Okay, thank God. I'm gonna have to get the Loctite out again too. If anybody's still watching this, you're uh, a champ. You're a real champ. Hanging in there for me, huh? All right, let's try this one more time. This bearing's done, yeah. They're really stuck. Oh shit. Okay. Alright, so I have this bag of bearings, but I don't have any good like plastic ones in that size so stock ones are going to be what we use i think this is the other one and they seem pretty good honestly they're rolling really good yeah so let's try this one last time The right pins here, or what? I think they're all the same. So. Let's hope that centering gets straightened out when I use the stock bearings because I'm going to be pissed if the centering is fucked. Come on, baby. Eighth time is the charm, right? Isn't that what they say? Eighth time? I hate these screws with a passion. If I could just use a T6 or a T8 right now, even a T6. I mean, I know I hate them, but I like them more than this bullshit. Hopefully, this is the last time I do this. Everything lined up. Yeah, it looks good. And the only torque you get is, you know, the torque your hand provides, which if you have weak hands, this is going to suck. Seriously. Yeah, it centers up definitely better with the stock bearings. Look at that. A little bit of play there. Action's better, so let's just try to tighten it down. Oh, yeah, it wasn't tight. No play, no rock. 
And good action. I can back off it a little, I think. There we go. She's back. So that was a waste of time and effort. And I ended up possibly making the centering worse, which... Like it looks good, but it also doesn't. I don't know. Action's definitely good. I mean, that looks centered, right? To you guys, it does. To me, it doesn't. If that makes sense. Like down the line, it just looks a little bit off to the show side, but I think it's actually good and it's just my brain playing tricks. It's good enough anyway. I'm going to let this sit and uh, yeah, no play, right? Nope, nothing. The action's good, so I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, that's the uh, MTNT Mach 3 disassembly that took 40 damn minutes because of this. And because the bearings didn't want to swap. That's weird, too, because I put skiffs in the Mach 1, and it worked great. So I guess it depends on which one you get, too. Huh. Interesting. Uh, now I know not to take it apart unless I have to. Um, cool knife. I really like it, though. Awesome knife. So I'm going to let this lock tight. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you. Hey, later. guys. Uh, that centering was just still bothering me. So what I did was I took it apart again today. This is the next day. Um, I had to break the lock tight. But I flipped the bearings over. So I had them facing out. So the ass end is facing into the blade. And that fixed the centering. So sometimes you just, you know, you got to try different things. The, the different bearing, you know, it's weird. Um, but it's definitely a much straighter centered blade now. Uh, it's not perfect, but I think it's pretty much dead nuts. Um, still favoring that side a little bit, but it's a lot better. So flipping the bearings helped. And... I think it helped the action too. Um, I have it fully tightened and it's much smoother this way. So sometimes knives just want to be the way they want to be. And with Riot, with that precision, you know, kind of makes sense that they set it up to be a certain way. You should keep it that way. So just a quick update. I did get this perfectly centered and um, good to go. It's going to dry again. So now I got to wait for it to cure. Probably wait till tomorrow to be safe. And then I'll be back to carrying this bad boy. So, thanks guys. Love you. Peace.